right here. Um, when I was in grad school, I had to do a presentation on dominance behavior in humans. And part of the presentation was, well, where is this dominance behavior in humans going to take us? Now, all of you have heard of uh, artificial intelligence before, and we're very close now to you know, making this happen. This is probably something that's going to happen in the next 15 to 25, 30 years. Now, there are two forms of artificial intelligence. You're going to have general artificial intelligence, which is like a human level intelligence. But because you know, you can, technology can evolve much, much faster than biology can, general intelligence will then go to artificial superintelligence very quickly, probably in a number of years. Now, there's obviously a big problem with this because we'll be creating basically a new species that is more intelligent than us, a lot more intelligent. But yet we think it's going to serve us, which kind of doesn't make sense. Because once you have, you know, a sentient being, it's going to have its own goals and objectives, its own drives and motivations. And for perspective, it's like, you know, being a, you know, a brilliant university professor who's going to let a two-year-old tell him what to do and only do what the two-year-old tells him what to do. Now, that, that's not smart. That's not going to happen. But a lot of people in the field think that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, what it is, is they're tempted by what artificial superintelligence will be able to do. It's gonna be much more intelligent than us, so it'll be able to solve a lot of our problems, give us a lot of things we want, all these rewards. But as you can see right here, tribal competition means that the development is, is inevitable, even though there's a lot of danger involved in creating it. But because corporations and nation states are all competitors, they can't afford for their competitor to get it first. So even though we recognize the problem, everyone has to go ahead and try and get it because if you don't get it, the first people to get it are going to end up controlling and dominating you. So this is kind of how human beings work against themselves. And we're also seeing that with the issues around climate change. Because of the competitiveness, we can't just cooperate as a species to deal with a problem that isn't going to recognize borders or, or anything else. So this hierarchical behavior is taking us down the road to where this will be a problem. Um, I don't know if you like my age, I'm, I'm 52. I'll, I'll probably be on my way out when this becomes a big time threat. But if you're a young person, you're probably going to live to see this. And uh, we have no idea what's going to happen. We just know there may be great reward, maybe great problems. But this hierarchical behavior, tribal hierarchical behavior, huge problem. 